And we're preparing, we're live. Does it oh, come up? Yeah, does it come up with a little screen telling you that you're live and you've got yeah, it? it got it? Yeah. Oh, good. Yes, yeah. so you're live on Facebook. Hello, That's everybody. Awesome. Hello, Michelle. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, hi, and welcome to another Wednesday. Absolutely do so too. <laughs> I love that. I love that cup of yours. It is so super cute. It's Cinderella, right? It is. It is. We got it from, um, we actually got it from Disneyland. So David got a, um, a grumpy cup, <laughs> granddad grumpy. And um, he got, so he got a grumpy cup and I got, I got a princess cup. Oh, so I Cinderella. love that. It's so nice. I remember when we started doing these um, Facebook lives, I remember when I first saw it, I was like, oh, my God, it's even a pretty colour. Like, it's just so super cute. <laughs> so how are you, Ange? I'm good. I'm really good, actually. Lots of good things happening, even though we're in lockdown in Sydney. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, we're still allowed to go for walks. And um, I do live in an area which I'm very fortunate we don't have COVID in here. Oh, However, gosh. I think the word could be yet. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um you know, while I can keep going for walks is great and yeah. while we can keep going to the supermarket. But our life is very insular. But how lucky are we? Like, you know, I get to connect with you. Yesterday we hopped on a Zoom together for a little while and had a chat. You know, like I feel very fortunate that we are, yes. no matter where you are, even if you're in Sydney, oh, sorry, I'm in Sydney, I'm in Melbourne, you know, people can at least we can get out and connect. We are so fortunate. Yeah. But when I, I don't mean out of the house, I mean I'm like on on the computer. Yeah, and I think I think that's probably the it's it's the best substitute, isn't it, for that face to face. And when you get when you're able to actually go and meet people again face to face, it's mm. just such an awesome feeling, isn't it? Oh. It's just oh, oh it's, I haven't had that yet. But <laughs> yeah, no, we have not been meeting anybody. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you are allowed to walk with one person. Okay. Um, that's not from your household but you right. know if you do that you're taking a risk because they live in a that's household right. and you don't know where they're going so yeah yeah that's right that's yeah, right it's a little bit tricky and we're yeah. only allowed to go 11 kilometers from our area however okay. uh rick and i chose that we wouldn't go out of concord at all yeah yeah i think that's a good choice i think that's yeah you just you know you've got to do the best you can don't you yeah yeah absolutely mm -hmm. and ladies and gentlemen Oh, I'm great. Hey, Michelle. I'm great. Um, much better. <laughs> so I had a bit of a back issue and um, a bit of inflammation and that sort of thing, but feeling a heck of a lot better today and my smile is back. So. Yes. <laughs> Which is great. So if anyone's watching, don't forget to um, jump on and say hi. Let us know that you're there. Um, but otherwise, we'll just keep chatting. <laughs> That's it. We're just going to have a little chat. And today we're going to talk about belonging because I absolutely love our topic of belonging and I love yeah. how we've covered you know belonging after a divorce we've covered belonging to ourselves we've been, we've talked about belonging in a family and I think we've covered a few other things but they're not and floating community. in our oh, community well. and and today when we were um chatting yesterday I thought it was a really great topic um that we have chosen is belonging in a network a networking business now I don't know about you, Michelle, but myself, I had never networked in my life until um, three years ago when I, oh, sorry, about four years ago when I came to Sydney. Okay. So prior to that, I had never networked. So this is all a brand new thing for me and it was a bit clunky. There's no two ways right. about it. And, <laughs> and I had to find my way. But how about you tell us about your experience first about belonging to a network? Yeah, look, I, um, I've had different experiences in different locations. So my experience here in Canberra has been incredibly different to my experience in Brisbane. And, and I guess even networking where I've lived around Australia, um, not necessarily business networking groups, but other networking groups, my, um, my experiences have been varied, to say the okay. least. Um, some have been absolutely fantastic. Others have been, oh, gosh, I don't fit here. Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't think this is right for me. So I'll just uh, reverse and pretend it never happened. <laughs> okay, so, you, so have you been networking for a long time? Well, um, in terms of business networking, probably only about just over three years. Oh, okay, so it's, we're the same. Yeah, 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 okay, similar. Even though I've only ever worked for myself, 
um, when I um, did photography for a living, I never, never needed to network because there was always enough work. Mm. And I didn't really actually know about networking business as I know that sounds a little bit naive, but it's actually truthful. Yeah. And then when I went into the coaching and the Louise Hay teaching, I, again, didn't go to networking. I, I, I just think I've been a bit naive. And then it was... Um, oh. So how did I you did... spread the word? How did you spread well, the word? Well, people would just come from courses that had been to courses and I'd just meet people and then they'd coach with me. I know I even look back and go, I don't know yeah. how that all came together, but it did. It all came together perfectly. Yeah. And even when I came to Sydney, mm. I ran a couple of 12-week courses and, again, I didn't... Um, they filled, so mm. I didn't worry about it. Um, but then three years ago when I created the game and I, well, I hadn't quite created the game, but I knew I was on a change again and I wanted to meet new people, yeah. I, I went, a friend of mine said, I'll come to this networking um, event. And I thought, oh, I'll go to a networking event. That sounds like fun. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is a whole new world. So, yeah. but it is interesting how you, I, I think we we talked about this is um you know, I think today is about how to belong to a network and, mm -hmm. you know, what is valuable in a network. So how did you, you, you you're the same as me, we both went out, like you went out three um, years ago, and tell me, how did you find the network and how did you know to pull away? Oh my gosh. Um, so it was really a bit of hit and miss. Um, okay. some but you tried said, a few different ones? Yeah, yeah. Some, so okay. I had, um, I'd started networking through the um, network marketing company I was with. So going to events and, and meeting people and trying to find people in my area that I could do um, little events with at, at houses and, and stuff like that. And that worked reasonably well. Um, but then I started wanting to reach out and get a wider audience for the product yeah. that I was I was um, involved with or the products. And so I thought, oh, you know, meet up. Someone said to me, I'll oh, go to meet up groups, you know, go to women's groups on meet up and do this and yeah. do that. Not so successful. <laughs> okay, so when you said you went to meetup groups, I don't know what they are. Is that something where you go to someone's house or do you do this online? Well, um, at the time it was face to face, so um, you'd go to you'd go to a function room or okay. um, at yep, a hotel. Yep. You'd, you'd go and have dinner and and that sort of thing and talk to different people. Um, I. I found it, maybe it was because I was so new at it, I found it quite difficult. So maybe maybe that was the contributing factor was why it wasn't so successful for me. But I really didn't feel comfortable, you know, unless I initiated conversations, no one kind of came to have a chat. Initially, you were welcomed in and, not, oh, yeah, look, come and introduce yourself, hand your business card around, all of that sort of thing. Um, so that's what I was doing. And there was no kind of rules. I didn't know really what to do yeah yeah, and, yeah and I think that was that was probably part of it so I think inexperience and not really knowing what and no one sort of taking you under their wing is that what you're yeah. saying so no one took you under their wing and said okay so this is how our event works and and, yeah. and it sounds like the event didn't have structure because you know how some events that yeah. we're invited to have this really strict structure because yeah. um, now I've been invited to quite a few things and I've enjoyed going along and trying them out. So yeah. what I'm hearing from you is that you went and tried it out, but no one's um, gave you the run of how it works. So when you turned up next time, it wasn't like someone said, oh, Michelle, we're so excited to see you again. Come on over. Yeah. yeah well, you probably should tell about your experience. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was it was exactly like that. And yeah. I just kind of went, okay, I need to I need to try this a few times because, you know, obviously the first time you go along and you don't know anyone and a bit of nerves and all of that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, so I, I went along a, a few times to um, to a number of these these groups. Yeah. And I just went, uh, it just didn't didn't have the right feel. And so I think add inexperience to not really knowing what was the go <laughs> yeah yep, yep. um not really knowing the structure not really knowing any sort of formula um yep. I, I really didn't enjoy it so um but then when I came to Canberra um of course we're in lockdown it was beginning of 2020 where <laughs> arrived just in time for the or arrived for the 
um, probably the month, the last month of all the smoke, and then we had hail, and then COVID hit, and we were locked down, and you know all of that sort of thing. So trying to establish any sort of network was rather challenging, and I established a number of um, connections online. So I was joining a lot of online groups, and you know just seeing where I felt. It's kind of like it's kind of like sussing out Facebook, really, where you go into these groups, and some groups really fit your vibe, whereas other groups you go. Ooh, I don't like the structure here. I don't like how dominant um, the, the people are in here and, you know, how controlling it is and stuff like that. But I went along and I'm, <laughs> it's really funny. I, uh, there was this group I joined and they decided one Friday to, um, to have a, a bit of an online meet and greet. So um, I joined the meet and greet and I found out that a, a few of the ladies were actually here in Canberra and this was at the beginning of the year and I was like, we can go out and meet each other. Oh, that's How nice. good is that? That's ah! so nice. Yeah, that's so nice. So we did, we organised to get together. I had no idea what these ladies looked like, never met them before. <laughs> And we got to the um, we got to the facility, it was at the Arboretum, and I just kind of went, are you are you <laughs> and um, we had the best time and from there they kind of went oh look you need to be in this work this work I'll introduce you to this person you know oh, blah 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 right. what are you all about and and they started to kind of take me under their wing and just talk things out and I was like oh my gosh awesome absolutely awesome and from and that's where it started and you know I've met all these other subsequent people who've been very much the same of how can I help you who can I introduce you to oh who do I know that you know that would really need your services or need your products and how can yeah how can I help you succeed and that's I was just nice. like that's oh. really nice that is, it's, it's been the best. It's been the best. So how about you? What's the, what's your range of experiences, Ange? Oh, my range of experience. Well, I only, as I said, I joined one and it was nice. It was a really nice, it was a really nice group. Um, and I have, I've experienced a few different things. I must admit the ones in Canberra are amazing, like beyond mm -hmm. amazing. Everything you go to, you just feel like everyone just sort of like is there to really catch you if you fall. Yes. I was a part of one networking group and um, this was quite an interesting experience and everyone was trying to sell me stuff all the time but no one had asked me what I did and I thought that was rather mm -hmm. odd but then once I didn't buy anything like I bought some things from people but I've said oh no I don't it was almost like once I stopped buying it was like oh, okay well you know we don't really need you here anymore so I've had some really weird experiences <sighs> But if I was really honest, mm. I knew we didn't have the same values and I knew that we were not an energetic fit. Mm. And I think what today about belonging in a network is I would really encourage anyone to make sure that when you start networking, firstly, that you have the time to put into that network mm. of whatever they are requiring from you, mm. whether it be the two hours, whether it be the money commitment, Mm. Um, but I think you really need to know that you can actually commit to that time. And I don't always think it's about being a part of a lot of networking groups. It's about being a, a part of a couple that you really value mm. and they really value you. And mm. it was only when I started to go to a few different ones that I could really feel the different vibe. And I went, oh, goodness me, I fit here so well. We're so on yeah. the same page. Yeah. That, I don't think at first I realised I wasn't on the same page. I thought that's what networking was. Yes. Does that make sense? I yes. thought, oh, this is what networking is. And it was only when someone else said, I'll come to this. Yeah. And then I went along to that and I went, oh, my God, I love it. This is so great. I yeah. thought, I don't think I'll go back to that one anymore. Yeah. So um, I think the purpose of our, our conversation today was to that if anyone's out there and a part of a networking group, that they're not feeling that they're valued and maybe they don't feel that they're aligned and they're still great people. You're just on a different page. Sometimes it's yeah. different experiences. Um, some groups are very clicky. You can tell that they really just like to be together and there's nothing wrong with that if they've been together for a long time and that's how they run their network. That's a fine thing too. Probably not good for the newcomers. Um, 
but I think it's all about really, you know, finding a place that you do have the time and the commitment and really committing, you know, yes, actually yes. staying in the network. If yes, there's anything yes. we learned from that fantastic Mr. Hinkle, it's 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 about turning up and it's yes, not yes. about going once everywhere. It's actually about finding those groups that really make your heart sing. Yes. You know, the ones where you go along, like I can't, there are some networking groups that I cannot wait to get to. And yeah. and and you know that there's um one in Canberra we really love. We had chosen not to name networks today. Yes. Yeah. Um and um but you know we know that one where oh my god the love in the room is like above and beyond. Yeah. It is so and above you met with a hug. When you come through the door, you get with a hug. hug. And, 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 like, and they ring you. They yes. ring you actually during the time of the next network yeah. and they really care. It's yeah. not just a case of give me your money. And, yeah. and you know, I have had that happen where, you know, yeah. once they once they received your payment, it was like, oh, okay, well, we're not that interested. And I've had some really weird experiences. Wow. But, but I think that is more, as you said, inexperience. Yeah. I think when you're not experienced, sometimes you don't know what you're meant to do. Yeah. You, and it's, you, I think it's hard. Like, um, it's I guess it's all about intention. What is your intention yes. in oh my going goodness. to mm. in going to the networking meeting or the group or or whatever? What's yeah. your intention? And if you that haven't if you haven't yep. quite worked out, like um when you when you're very new in business and you're new to networking and that sort of thing, you don't really know what your intention is because the world's your oyster. You haven't really mm. narrowed it down to, okay, this is my intention. My intention is to go and build relationships or my intention is to go and get known or my intention is to go and sell things, you know. They're all, well, oh, it's, all and I think it's, you don't want to just turn up to sell. I think also when you join a networking group, you actually need to think about what value you're going to bring that group. yes. You know, like, and now that I'm a part of a couple of groups that I absolutely adore and love, I'm always thinking, what can I do for them? Like, how could I help? What could I do that would be of value? Is there something, we all know that I'm not very good on Facebook, but if if ever I can, I'll say, if you know how to share it, just tell me what to do and I'm very happy to share. You know, like, um, and and you actually feel you're resonating with those people's values. And I knew I was in one wrong networking because I didn't want to take anyone there. (laughs) Oh, really? Oh, it was because I was inexperienced and I just didn't realise we didn't have the same values. Yeah. I, didn't, I just didn't know what I didn't know. Oh, where absolutely. now yeah. I only go to things where I really am aligned with their values. I know that if I take someone, they're going to be nurtured, they're going to be looked after, yes. they're not going to be ripped off. They yeah. are actually these people that you pay are going to deliver. Yes. You know, because, you know, you don't want to be recommending a, a network and, you know, people hand over money, then they're ringing you saying, oh, I didn't get this or that. I'm like, oh, sorry. Um, you know, you don't, you, you, I think it's really important also before you sign up to anything to be a part of something for a couple of months to yes. actually check your fit. Yes. And there have been a few um, like that I've heard of in Canberra, which um, are very transactional. And oh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. But that, yeah, yeah, yeah. These Sounds are, like the same thing. It's these about are ones money. that I've heard of and I've um, from other people that I'm currently networking with. And I go, I'm glad I didn't go there because oh, of their actually, experience. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I think some, yeah, that sounds like the one that sounds like a few people dodged a bullet there. Um, yes. Yeah, I know what you're saying. And that's what I mean. I think you really need to go. And I've even went to one recently, actually one that you invited me to. And I actually love that group. But yeah. I don't. I actually sat down and I thought I don't. I don't have the time for this. Yeah. It's it's actually I'm already a part of two, and I don't have any more time to give right now. However, yeah. things change, and you don't know where you want to go. So, I think on your networking journey, when you jump into maybe three or four, find the two that really align with your value. You feel like you have something really to contribute to the group. And you feel they're also going to contribute to your life. Yes. There yes. needs to be a flow. It cannot be just that you're always buying or they're always buying, you know. Yes. And it's yes. funny because I know you and I are part of, you know, one network. You can tell those people that come into a networking and they just want to tell you about the product and get off there and they hope they get some sales. Well, yeah. people can feel that. People can yeah. feel that murky energy. 
Yeah, absolutely. And we've actually got a few people watching at the moment oh, and a few comments. Yeah. So I thought um, good morning to Janine and Jenny. Hi, Janine. And, um, and Jackie, she's there as Hi, well. Hi, Jackie. And Janine's saying Jackie. that she loves your advice. And uh, who said that? Janine Hunter. Ah, uh, I love Janine. I, I actually haven't got to Janine's networking group yet, but I'm very keen to go. So Nora goes to Janine's and yeah. um, a few times Nora has been going up to the coast and said, can you come? But I haven't been able to go. Again, see, another networking group that someone wants to take you to, but it's that time factor. Yeah. So if someone someone was new in business and new to networking, what what would you say to them? Like what what advice would you give to them? I think the first thing is you need to look at your budget. I think the first thing is that if you don't look at your budget, you could end up in a in a group where it's fifteen hundred dollars a year and you actually maybe don't even have your pitch or your business in the right space yet to go into something like that. So that would be a little dangerous. I think first find your budget and then I would find I would find two completely different networking groups that you could attend to grow your business and also to learn because I have learned so much from um, like the one group that I'm a part of right now, uh, the leader in that, I, I, I learned so much from her and, and I'm a part of another one and I feel like I'm constantly learning. So, you know, you learn about your pitch and you learn what you need to do and, and then also I feel that I'm asked questions so that I can contribute. Yes. Do you see, I, I think that I can tell that they're interested in what I do too. So there's a flow. Yeah. I think if there's no flow. Yeah. Um, and you can always, you know, you have to be aware of those people that are only being friends with you to sell. They're not, yes. being, and, and, and they just drop away. You don't actually have to really and worry about do. it too much. They sort of just drop away. And, and I would try, I'd pick my budget and then I would find some ones locally and online, not mm -hmm. obviously if you're in lockdown like me at the moment. And I think those two are the two things that I would find valuable because then I know I'm not overspending but I'm out meeting great people where I'm getting to learn about other people's businesses where I can give them referrals and if yeah. they like what I've got then they could refer what I like if they mm. thought it was good so what would be your two what well would just be before two? we go there um um, Janine was saying yes about about Nora. Yes, she certainly does, and you need to come and. I know, I do. I can't wait to go to Janine because I want to have that booby thing. She goes, she can do it on wine now. <laughs> and I'm like the bra oh, okay. fit. <laughs> yeah, the bra fit. That's it. Uh, the bra fit. I didn't download very well. Um, yeah, I thought, oh, okay, the bra fit, and I was like, oh, how do you do that online? Like, do I get the? Yeah, ask Janine. Do I have to get the tape measure out? <laughs> Janine's laughing, but um, Jackie's saying she really, um, really hearing you about networking groups sounds like we have similar values. And with two separate networks, you can in introduce new members to each of those networks so you can, you know, share the love. Um, Jenny's saying interesting tips, ladies, love it. Um, I guess my, my tips would be um, talk to, like, go along, but really... Um, See if you can talk to people that you already know who are doing it maybe. And that will help you get clear on what your values are and what your intentions are in going along. So whether it's to get, um, get known, whether it's to sell products, whether it's to learn, um, mm. learn from others, yeah. Um, yeah, you need to be really clear on why you're going because I think if you're not clear on why you're going, mm. you tend to sit back and wait for other people to come to you rather than I'm going because I want to meet people. So therefore mm. you go and you meet people. Whereas if you go along and you're not really clear on why you're going but you know you need to network, mm. then, yeah, it's, maybe it's not going to be so successful. Mm. But I think well, that would be... Can I say this is a perfect example of belonging because um, Jackie, I actually met Jackie and Janine. Uh, Janine and I haven't connected um, face to face yet, but Jackie, because I come down to Canberra a lot, not now, but before, yeah. Jackie and I met through networking and, um, you know, we've become good friends and um, she also does my website. Like, And I would not have been exposed to someone as experienced as her. I would have been fumbling through the net and I would have been... Um, 
you know, I, I have hired people in the past and it hasn't quite been a fit. So one of the things I absolutely love about networking is, you know, there might be a selection of four people that do websites, but you can find the one that gets your vibe and gets your yes. flavour and, yes. you know, they can show you their work and say, I actually love what you do. And, and that's been a big learning curve for me too, to make sure that you work with people that are aligned with your values. Because if someone's really just bitching behind your back and they don't really like what you do, well, that's not a good fit. That's and true. now I just make sure that people that are around bling actually like bling. They don't have to like the game and they don't have to like what, it, but they actually at least have to align with the values of love. They have to yeah. align with the values of wanting to be kind and a really good person. So I think yeah. that's been a big learning curve too. So if you want to go to a networking group where you belong, it's actually really important that you find the people in there that align with your values. values. And, yeah. and you can still love the people that don't and, and you, you might meet someone that they're a good fit for. Um, but I think that is one of the hugest benefits of belonging in the right yeah. in the right group of women. You know, or, yeah. And that's another thing we didn't talk about. Do you go to a group that's only women or only men? Uh, not only men, but has mixtures. Do you know, like, yeah. we didn't cover that. No, we didn't. But just um, I, I go to a number. I, now you mention that, I actually it's tend frozen. to. Oh, no. Do you want to unfreeze yourself? <laughs> no, I checked out. I so I know you're moving again. <laughs> Am I moving? <laughs> yep, 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 yep. I, um, I, now that you say that, I think I only go to maybe two networking groups that have males. The rest tend to be yeah. female dominant. Yeah, I only or go females to only. Groups. I go to one when there's where there's men. Yeah, only one. Mm. Only one do I go where there's men, and it's well, I I only coach women. I only run courses yes. for women. My yeah. game is for women. Even though a lot of men play it now, that's yeah. come through default, not through yeah, yeah. not through intention as such. I do love men. I don't want to, you know. <laughs> It's just, but it's not not been a part of my work yeah yeah I was having a conversation with someone the other day and saying how one of my biggest learnings about belonging has come from so compared to life in the military life mm -hmm. after the military yeah life after the military I've shed a, I've, I've been shedding over the last three years or so a lot of masculine energy Oh, yeah, and you, I would imagine that just you need that in that. Yeah, sort of so industry. coming into, and I think, you know, coming into groups where there are a lot of females, I'm actually feeling nurtured and supported, whereas previously oh, that's so with nice. the masculine energy, I would be feeling out of place. So that's yeah, that's, nice. um, yeah, that's it. That's interesting. So that belonging has to do a lot to do with my own energy, my values, my intentions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are we going to pull a card today, Angela? I love it. Oh, yeah, yeah. We better yeah. Pull a card. I love how you said nurtured. Now, yeah. that's interesting. Oh, sorry, and I know we've got to go. But if you're just starting out in business, it is actually really important to find those beautiful groups where you're nurtured and you do get a phone call that people care. Yeah. And there are other networking groups that maybe that's not their flavour because they're more hardcore on the selling and that's a good thing too. But yeah. if you're just starting out in business, I think being a part of a nurturing group is really well. And I don't mean like holding your hand all the time, but I mean actually somewhere where you you feel confident to call someone and say, and ask questions. do you mind asking me that, do you know, do you know yeah. what I would need to do or what's required for? Yeah. Can yeah, I have like, a chat to you about this? I'm not sure about pricing. Yeah, I'm not sure about yeah, this. yeah. I'm not sure about that. Can I have? And that support is absolutely invaluable. And hi, Lisa, yep. to you as well. Hi. I see you there. Our little chili chick baby. Yeah, the chili <laughs> chick lady. I love oh, it. I love it, brother. I, I love, love her product. <laughs> I love her product. I think okay. Because, um, because we've we've got quite a few people that are starting to experience a fair bit of hardship with the lockdowns and that sort of thing. Today yep. we thought we should do bling boost card. Yeah. So well, what is the bling boost card? The bling boost is like that, you know, disco crystal ball. <laughs> It's the it's the it's the deck that makes you feel good. Um, so um, I asked Michelle today just to intuitively pull uh, to choose which deck she felt drawn to, and she said she felt drawn to the Bling Boost card. So I think what we'll do, if it's okay with you, I think we'll pull two, okay. so that people can see which one is the one that is them. Yeah. Oh my god, 
cut my own fringe, girls. That is very dodgy. But anyway, um, <laughs> I'm looking at how it sits and I'm like, it looks a little bowly. But <laughs> Oh, I, love you. I might have to get in and feather it a bit. Yeah, just feather it a bit. That's what oh. I used to do on deployment is just get my nail scissors and feather. Oh. <laughs> it's a little scary. Anyway, we're not here for hair things. We're here to learn about belonging and networking, thank God. So um, I won't be changing my profession. So <laughs> I'll let you choose first. Um, would, okay. I'd love to invite you to choose first. So what would okay. That one right there. That one? Yes. Yes, please. Okay. So Michelle? Your gift to the world today is you can use your imagination to create an extraordinary life. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. That's that what one? I'm all about is imagining and dreaming and clarity of, of, of where you want to go and what you want to do, that extraordinary life. That's awesome. Yes, yeah, I love absolutely. that. I love it. You can. You can use your imagination for an extraordinary life. And, you know, you can use your imagination when you go to these beautiful groups of belonging as well at the networking groups because, you know, get in there and really go, is this the right place for me or not? Energetically tap in, tap in and check the, check out and as she said, get to know, oh, I can do this myself. Yes, I don't need you to. Um... <laughs> All right. I think seeing my fringe has put me into like a bit of a... Uh, bad case actually all right i'm going to take from the top girls let's see what okay. it is oh and mine is if you are in lockdown you can create more happiness you can you can you really can and you know i think why we are can you see that or not it's not focusing did it focus it, yes it's it's focused now Okay, great. You can create more happiness. And I think the beautiful message in that card is, you know, happiness can be having a cup of tea and getting on a Zoom with a girlfriend. Create that belonging with someone that's out there. Um, happiness can be turning up to your Zooms. Do you know how often have you been at home and you have, haven't really wanted to get on the Zoom because your hair's not right, maybe your hair, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, no, no, I'm a bit of a meltdown. Um, I'm starting to go, oh. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, you look great, you look great. Um, <laughs> your own hair's not a good thing. Um, but um, I think it's really important that you really encourage yourself at the moment to get out to a networking group on Zoom where you do belong and really make that effort there is a lot of happiness I, I get a lot of happiness of going to these zoom meetings yeah but what about you michelle do you like going to them absolutely there's um as as we were saying there are particular groups that are it's like getting a cup of coffee and and sitting down at your favorite cafe or restaurant with a group of people that you really enjoy talking to um and and then um yeah the the other groups that i go to face to face are exactly the same you know i feel like family that's yeah. how i I like yeah. to feel that, you know, it's like family. It's not always going to be smooth, but it's, you know, you're loved. And that's I think right. that's a big thing. And appreciated. You know, you're, you're, you're appre and you're accepted. You're yes. accepted. Yeah, yes. yeah. That's cool. Well, my darling, we are over time by three minutes, so I'm going to have a little bit more of my cup. You still got your cup? Up? I do. I do. All right, ladies, have a great week. And thank you for tuning in. And thank you for your comments. And it was fantastic to see you here live. All right, Angie, have a great week and we'll talk again soon. Have a great week, Michelle. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks for coming. See you next week.